Joel Thomas have a pack hair and shoulder issue? Um, I have issues at all with the actual pack. Oh, good. So the only um the only pain or like injuries I would say or or related to the pack hair or uh just like little nagging pains that happen like in the shoulder. What? <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back again in my youtube channel in the session bodybuilding podcast with your host Joan Sagala So today we gonna talk and discuss about Joel Thomas have a pack tear and shoulder issue back in the day We gonna learn and we gonna see how he can handle this situation, this surgery, this pain into the training session when he was training in the gym and how he can deal with it and win some show some competition with this pain and surgery before we go jump up into it please click the bell button subscribe i'm gonna bring more anything that we can talk and discuss in the bodybuilding world yeah so i'll have like shoulder like pain on the back side of my shoulder um i've had like uh, some some little elbow like nagging pains mm. uh, but i mean that's it's nothing that i couldn't train around Mm-hmm. Um, and it's nothing that really keeps me from from uh, from going hard uh, on training because it, uh, it doesn't feel like any weakness in the actual pack. Um, so, uh, so that's like kind of nice. It, it's not like I have to uh, to change my training. Wow, I love the mindset and I love the spirit of Joel Thomas. He thinks like even he have the nagging pain on his back shoulder and he have some kind of like the pack issue. I think almost. Almost, I think, wanna hurt him and get him into the surgery because maybe the way he trained in the range of motion or maybe the way he execution the exercise, right? And I think because he have issue before, he don't want to back up in the training session. He still doing heavy lift work, but not trying to back off because he thinks like it doesn't like things you need to change the way you training he feels he still can handle and still can doing like a normally the way he train so this is kind of like the good mindset and good motivation great motivation to all of us if he really have some kind of like the same feelings right same feelings like a joel thomas situation i think when i'm training Other than I'm not doing flat barbell stuff as often, my my training I would say is exactly the same as it was before. But now I mean, I've spoken to bodybuilders. I think it was um, it was that calm when he, he tore his quads and and he said the biggest barrier for him was psychological. He says was getting under that squat rack for the first time when he knew pretty much that everything was. Okay. Did you have any sort of psychological barriers? Any or, or you were nervous or and you did a stretch on a fly? Do you think oh shit is this going to go again? Good statement from the guyless tiger. And really good statement from Joel Thomas also first. He said like other than doing flat barbell stuff, I think he can doing alternative if he feels like, oh man, I think I have to switch this exercise to another exercise to some kind of like longevity and not making myself into the dangerous zone. And get injured from this exercise, and I think that's the way, and that's the strategy you can doing first. And of course, when you feels like you still have this accident, this surgery, this pain, and you coming to train the same body part. Let's say you have the chest pain, right? And this is your chest day. Of course, you gonna thinking you have to flat barbell bench press, okay? You have to doing this exercise, but mentally, psychology, you will be getting scared because why? Because you still have the chest pain in your chest, but at the same time, you wanna doing the flat barbell bench press, which is the dangerous exercise that we all know, right? Which is that's really, really the commonly exercise, the king of exercise, great exercise 
to bring your into the surgery into the injured right this exercise is really really a high risk injury the strategy that you can make is you can looking and searching another exercise to alternative this exercise maybe from the barbell to dumbbell but you gonna have the physiology mentally i think still physiology still scare mentally you feels like you really fierce because you still have the chest pain in your chest that's the situation you're gonna handle if you have this situation right so i had all, all of those uh kind of thoughts and, and um fe- fears or doubts or whatever i, I kind of had those while i was uh rehabbing okay okay so it's uh like i see a lot of guys uh rush their comeback or they're like in a hurry to get back in uh, Instagram posting shape and things like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, it's people's job, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's the most people and the general people gonna feel and gonna doing like that <laughs> because he thinks like, oh, I'm ready, I'm hungry, I'm gonna tell to everyone, I'm gonna back doing this exercise, I'm gonna going heavy in the squats. Even everyone knows I'm already tear my quads, but I'm gonna go four plates in the squat track, and I'm gonna squat five plates in my working set. <laughs> Don't be like that, guys. Don't be like that. Okay, it's dangerous. Really important to have the longevity. You don't wanna end up like a Ronnie Coleman, right? <laughs> so don't do it, okay? Don't just do it because of your Instagram post. Don't just doing that because you wanna to impress everybody in the gym, in the room. No, 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 don't be like that guy. <laughs> It's dangerous. Uh, but I, I think I was patient enough with it uh, to where uh, there was never like, okay, I feel like I'm healed up. I'm just gonna go to a 100% workout. Hmm. It was like, okay, I'm gonna have like, 20% workouts, and then I'm gonna have 30% workouts, uh, and it's, it, it, I don't want to say it feels like a waste of time, but it kind of just feels like you're going through the motions, Yeah. Uh, so I did enough of going through the motions uh, to where by the time I got up to heavier weight, there was no kind of pain, There's nothing feels aggravated, nothing feels weak in that joint, um, and my surgeon said, um, he said, I'm not gonna tear that one again. A really good approach and good strategy from Joel Thomas. That's I think what everyone should be doing, right? If you wanna go and come back to a hundred percent, just doing it slowly, okay? Working slowly to a hundred percent. Maybe you start to twenty percent, fifty percent, seventy percent, eighty-five, and to 100 okay if you really feel scary okay even if you still can let's say you can still bench press for plates but it seems like really have the high risky injury just doing 80% from it okay just doing 75% from it maybe two plates and a half maybe three plates and a half and searching another intensity maybe in the four plates you're really in the fast motion fast range of motion but with the three and a half plates or maybe three plates you can pause two second type hold at the bottom and you really squeezing the pack okay and come back again two second hold at the bottom and squeezing again just find another intensity right So that's kind of like the really, really good strategy and really good approach from Joel Thomas. So that's now you have it, guys. Hopefully this video can help you the way you can handle and the strategy when you have the some kind of like accident or maybe surgery while you're training in the gym. And hopefully this video can be alternative and can give strategy and tips to all of you when it comes to training in the gym. So thank you so much guys for watching. If you love this video on content, please click the bell button, subscribe. I'm gonna bring more anything that we can talk and discuss in the bodybuilding world, our favorite division. Thank you so much guys for watching. I'm your host Joan Sagala sending out. May God bless you all.